My name is Nelly Babish, and I am the Director of Social and Cultural Development at the Cree Nation of Chisasibi. Today marks one year since we learned 215 First Nations children once lost were found with a ground-penetrating radar on the site of the former Kamloops Indian Residential School. Today we join our sisters and brothers from the Tekemloops Kishwepnik Nation in honoring these 215 children. These children's lives were taken at a place where they were to be protected and loved. We hope they and their loved ones have found some peace with the truth revealed by the search. Our hearts are with all nations affected by this news, and we join them in marking the solemn and difficult anniversary. The news of the 215 children revealed the truth of a painful story that survivors and our ancestors have been telling for decades, that First Nations children injured unimaginable and inhumane treatment in residential schools across North America. While the Kishwepnik nation was handed the pain and suffering, the families were also given the gift of truth. Their courageous ground search motivated us and many other nations to open serious conversations about our own residential school sites and the secrets buried there. Over the last year, the Cree Nation of Chesapeake has held several sessions with the survivors of Fort George residential schools and intergenerational survivors. Sessions to discuss a possible ground search at Fort George. Though these conversations were not easy for our community, we are now very close to the decision we will be announcing in June. It is painful not to know and it will be painful to learn the truth but we must reclaim our true history as a huge. We must do what we can to protect our future generations from this pain. Today will be hard for many of us. Remember, you are not alone, and there is always someone to talk to. If you are feeling difficult emotions today, please call the Wichuan helpline at 1-833-632-4357. Help is available 24-7. What do you have, Maswa?